This is the Mavic 3 Pro, DJI's most powerful foldable consumer drone, boasting an amazing triple lens camera system, allowing you to quickly switch between three completely different focal lengths without ever needing to land, swap lenses and lose time. DJI states this drone completely replaces their Inspire 2 with an X5S camera, giving you a lot more control over how you want to capture your shots and tell your story in a more convenient and portable way. The majority of the features we've seen from the Mavic 3 drone are exactly the same here as well, besides the camera system of course, which we have a lot to talk about, and a few other small changes which I'll mention later in the video. So first, let's start with the all new medium telephoto camera which is in the upper right corner of the drone and has a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor with a fixed aperture of f2.8. It shoots 10 bit video and 4K 60 frames per second in D-Log M and HLG color profiles. The purpose of this camera is to help viewers focus their attention on a specific object in the frame as because of the longer focal length there are fewer elements in the shot and they grab your attention easier. I actually really like the look of the footage coming out of this new lens as it gives you that more premium cinematic look where you still have some compression between the foreground and the background elements of your shots but not to the point that you can only focus on one thing only. It's a great middle ground between the wide angle look of the 24mm camera of the Mavic 3 which by now is super standard and serves well for establishing shots but when you want to point the viewer's attention towards a specific object for example, this lens can give you that perfect punch in without sacrificing any quality. The 3x medium telephoto lens also supports all the cool features that it needs to such as hyperlapse, active track, spotlight and point of interest so there are tons of possibilities for you to create even more interesting footage now. Next we have the 166mm 7x telephoto camera which we've seen in the Mavic 3 lineup but this time it has actually been completely reworked in order to record in better quality and correspond to that pro name of the drone. So now the sensor of this 166mm equivalent lens is half an inch CMOS sensor with a fixed aperture of 3.4 which allows you to shoot in 4K 60 frames per second in H.264, H.265 and ProRes if you have the Mavic 3 Pro Cine but the caveat is that it only shoots in normal color profile. However, the compression this lens creates is just out of this world and I'm super super happy to have this on board so I can easily punch in and get into some seriously detailed shot with lots of information and great quality. This lens is particularly useful when combined with the other two lenses if you want to completely cover the whole range of the focal length this drone has to offer so you can enrich your storytelling by including different looks of the same area and provoke different emotions. For example, the 7x lens is perfect to showcase a specific object like a person, an animal, piece of architecture or a natural element that you specifically want to focus on to better tell a story. I also found this lens super useful in situations where you don't want to or simply cannot get closer to the object that you want to film, like for example this ship which sails right on the edge of a no-fly zone and a shot like this wouldn't have been possible with a regular lens. Now if you want to really take advantage of that triple lens camera system you'll have two choices to make when it comes to shooting with it. So first you can set everything to normal color profile so regardless whether you're using the wide angle, the X3 or the X7 lens you will have a normal color profile selected so it will be much easier for you to combine the footage out of all of these three lenses and use it in one video. However, this will limit the amount of detail, the amount of dynamic range that you'll be getting out of this drone, so it's not really ideal. So your second option is to use the flattest color profile each of these lenses has to offer. So in that case, this is D-Lock on the wide angle uh, camera lens, D-Lock M on the X3 camera lens and normal color profile on the X7 lens. And as you can see, it's a little bit less than ideal to combine D-Log, D-Log M and also normal color profile uh, to, to mix it all together into one video. However, this is something that you will have to deal with if you want to take advantage of all of these three lenses and just extract the most out of them. I have noticed that D-Log M is very similar to what we had previously on the Mavic 2 Pro and D-Log is the same, of course, as we 
had on the regular Mavic 3. So if you've had any of these drones before, then you'll probably feel very comfortable grading the footage coming out of them. When it comes to the X7 lens though, it's a little bit more tricky as it only shoots a normal color profile. So matching the, the footage to the rest of the footage shot with the wide angle lens in D-Log and with the medium telephoto lens in D-Log M, it's a little bit more tricky. It's a little bit hard to match the colors. However, it's not impossible. In the past couple of weeks, I've been working really hard to create a LUT bundle for the Mavic 3 that solves this issue. So I wanted to create a LUT that matches the look of the wide angle, the medium telephoto and the long telephoto camera uh, into one look that you can all use to avoid, you know, dealing with that issue of having different colors, different looks in your footage. So I will link it down below if you want to check it out. It's a Mavic 3 specific Mavic 3 Pro specific LUT bundle that solves that issue and creates a nice overall look whether you're shooting with the X1, the X3 or the X7 lenses. Now because we have this massive new camera system here on the front, it takes a whole lot more space and I was nervous to see how much bulkier the drone will be and it's actually not that bad when you look at it from the front. Unfortunately though, this severely affects the weight of the drone. Uh, and by severely, I mean it's only a couple of grams. However, these grams are really important to the point that now this drone is in a whole different category. That's why it's again a pro drone because it's over 900 grams. It's about 937 on my scale, which might not be the most correct scale out there. However, this puts it in a category over 900 grams. And as you, if you remember, the regular Mavic 3 and even the Mavic 3 Cine were both under 900 grams. So they were able to be flown uh, with just the regular A1 category. But now you need to go to an exam, pass this exam to enter the A2 category for flying a drone, which is over 900 grams, which is a big deal. And now if you want to legally fly the Mavic 3 Pro, you need to pass an exam so you can get that A2 certificate and fly it without any problems. When it comes to the flight time, DJI states that it's dropping down from 46 minutes of the Mavic 3 to 43 minutes or up to 43 minutes uh, for the Mavic 3 Pro. This is the maximum flight time that you can expect. And of course, it's never achievable. However, in my tests, I didn't really notice a big difference in the performance of the drone or even in the flight time. Of course, because of that increased weight that I just mentioned, uh, which is now over 900 grams, it's about 900 and 37. Um, now the drone is of course heavier so the performance uh, is slightly worse and of course the flight time is also affected by that but especially if you get the fly more package which comes with two additional batteries and with total of three batteries you will probably not notice any big severe differences between the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro. So I personally can say there is a big impact on my personal experience with the Mavic 3 Pro because of that slightly lower flight time. If we put the Mavic 3 Pro in the air next to the Mavic 3, you might notice a slight difference in the pitch of the sound they make. It's not a big difference, it's just a small difference because of the weight that these aircrafts have. And because the Mavic 3 Pro is slightly heavier, of course, it also changes the pitch of the sound it makes. However, I wouldn't say I notice any difference in the sound levels. I wouldn't say the Mavic 3 Pro is quieter. It just has a slightly different tone. Luckily, since the Mavic 3 Pro is based on the same platform, it means that all the other accessories from the Mavic 3 series, such as battery chargers, remote controllers, batteries and props are exactly the same. So if you have any of those, you can use them on the 3 Pro as well. I'm really happy to see that they haven't made a specific new prop for this model or for example, a new Pro remote controller that only works with this specific drone. So you can use pretty much any remote you like from the basic RCN1 to the DJI RC and of course, even the RC Pro. Now I was really pleasantly surprised to see this brand new design of the ND filters from DJI for the Mavic 3 Pro. They come bundled with the Fly More kit and they look amazing. So obviously when you have three lenses on board, you have to kind of get creative and think about a new design. And I'm really glad to see that DJI has come up with this design, which 
actually uh, corresponds to the three different lenses that you have on the drone. So you have three filters into one. So depending on which lens you're using, you have a different glass in front of it. So this is the ND64 that I grabbed from the filter kit. And as you can see, you might be able to actually see when I set it like this, you have three different, or should I say two different um, levels of dimming on the glass of this filter. So these two have the same strength. So this is ND64. And this actually corresponds to ND64, but for the X7 lens, which has a different aperture. So if you want to correspond to the same level of dimness, you have to actually have a little bit of a brighter uh, glass in front of that lens because it has a darker, or should I say a more closed aperture of 3.4. So this is really clever. And since you will most probably use all of these three lenses together when you're, you're flying and you're shooting, you don't want to constantly take your drone down to the ground, switch those filters and come back up simply to use another lens. So if you want to easily switch from X1 to X3 to X7 without having to constantly adjust your settings, this is the perfect design for that. So here I have the price list for all the different bundles for the Mavic 3 Pro. And I also compare them to the Mavic 3 and Mavic 3 Classic bundles with the Fly More package for your convenience by also adjusting the prices if you want to buy those specific drones with the RC N1, with the DJI RC or with the DJI RC Pro. We have so many different possibilities, so of course the prices will vary, so I would advise you to check the link in the description if you want to see the latest prices that we have right now. But the current prices are the following. We have the Mavic 3 Pro with the RC Pro controller and the Fly More kit, which of course includes a carrying bag, a charger, two more additional batteries and some other accessories, and that is going to cost $38.89 US dollars. We have the same package, but if you don't want to use the RC Pro, you can get it for a little bit more cheap with the DJI RC, which still has that built-in screen and is great to use. That's going to be $29.99 US dollars. We have the Mavic 3 Pro Cine Combo with the RC Pro, and that's again with the Fly More package. And that's the most expensive option out there. That's going to be $47.99 US dollars. And if you just want to buy the drone and the DJI RC together without any combos, that's going to cost $21.99 US dollars. To compare that with the Mavic 3 Classic and the regular Mavic 3, we will actually see that especially if we opt for the DJI RC remote controller, it's actually cheaper to buy the Mavic 3 Pro than it is to buy the regular Mavic 3. And now, outside of these 10 things that you need to know about the Mavic 3 Pro, I want to quickly share my impressions of flying this drone for the past couple of weeks. Because as we all know, the Mavic 3 is a super stable, amazing platform that we've seen before. Of course, I'm very familiar with what the Mavic 3 does and what it's capable of. But now, with this new camera system, with the triple lens camera system, I've seen it in a new way, new light that is actually making me really want to fly a lot uh, because this is just a fantastic way to explore, to be creative again and to have a lot more freedom uh, in your hands uh, when you're flying because because of those lenses you have so much more control over what you want to shoot and how you want to shoot it and even if you just go to one single location you have so much more freedom to have more variety in your shots and to create more interesting looking shots that previously have never been possible with a much better quality, much improved overall look. And I would say that DJI has done a fantastic job when it comes to combining the look of these three lenses. They are super immersive and they definitely don't take you out of the, the, the whole story when you look at a different shot. Uh, so. Uh, the, the, the quality is definitely up there and uh, I'm definitely enjoying the look of these three lenses together. Uh, and that brings me to my final kind of impression of the drone that is now a super, super versatile drone that I think this is what the Mavic 3 should have been from day one. Uh, but now that we have the pro version, it really is a pro drone now because uh, you can do some so many things even without ever uh, you know approaching that that location too much uh, when you switch to the x7 lens you have 
so much more flexibility to, to explore and actually get those shots that are really far away with the compression. Um, I was shooting in the middle of the city and I just turned the camera around and I was able to, to get a shot of something that is kilometers away and it still looked super sharp and still looked really, really good. And you don't really have to, to fly close to the object anymore because you have that lens that actually provides a great quality footage and it will give you so much more flexibility. So I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to continue using the Mavic 3 Pro. I'm super happy with it. And obviously um, I will keep flying and keep making videos on it here on this channel. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor, blow up the thumbs up button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I've put a lot of work into making this video, so I would really appreciate if you drop me a comment down below and like the video to show some support. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.